Hello, everyone. Welcome to Amnesia, a machine for pigs. I don't think I can properly convey how excited I am to play this game with words. Let me just put it this way. I've been on a horror bent lately, playing a lot of horror games, and I really, really want to be scared out of my mind. I really do. And despite all of the game, the horror games that I've played recently, none of them have just, they just haven't quite done it for me. And I still keep going back to the original Amnesia, The Dark Descent, which is still, to this day, even though it's been out for about three years, is the scariest game I've ever played in my life. And I want that experience again. I want to be that scared, but just nothing has done it for me since three years ago, when I originally played Amnesia The Dark Descent. So I've been waiting three more years for what is hopefully going to be an experience as powerful as that. So in other words, I'm really excited to play this. However, I'm also trying to keep in mind that I shouldn't hype it up too much. Okay, it, it might not be amazing. Maybe I'm thinking of Amnesia The Dark Descent through nostalgia eyes or something like that. You know, looking at it through rose-tinted glasses or whatever you say. So I'm trying not to hype it up too much. But I am very, very excited for this. Alright, a couple things to mention. Um, this uh, Amnesia a Machine for Pigs is not developed by the uh, Frictional Games, the developers of Amnesia the Dark Descent. It is actually developed by the Chinese Room, which are the people behind Dear Esther. And it's published and produced by Frictional Games. It is... I don't think it's a sequel or a prequel or anything like that to Amnesia the Dark Descent. However, it is set in the same universe. So that's worth keeping in mind. Let's see, what else is there? Oh yes, I've never mentioned this before playing a game before. Because I, I just assume it goes without saying. However, I... Just in case it doesn't go without saying, I will say it. If you are planning on playing this game yourself, or you think you might, I highly recommend not watching this video or any gameplay videos of this game at all. Because when it comes to horror games, if you know what's going to happen, it totally ruins the experience. So yes, if you plan on playing it, I don't recommend watching any Let's Plays or anything like that. I, I assume that goes without saying, but just in case. I just want to make that clear. Okay. Two other things. The music is amazing so far in this menu. That is really creepy music. Between the creepy fan in the background and the creepy music, I'm already, well, creeped out. Okay. I have not started the game. I might need to change some settings. I, I'm going so far into the... Uh, I don't want to spoil the game kind of mood that I haven't even started it up to make sure it runs properly. So we'll see what happens. I'm probably going to cut and then change some settings if I need to. Because I don't want to replay the beginning section. Because I really want to get into the skin of this game. Or get under its skin. Or get it under my skin. Whatever. I want to... I want to be scared. I really, really want to be scared. And I'm hoping that happens. Let's find out. Let's delve into the world of Amnesia. A machine for pigs. This is a very long loading screen, but it's okay because the music is awesome. And the only thing it's doing is building up the tension even more. What's going to happen? Here we go. Here we go. Oh god, I can't wait. Darkness. He who makes a beast of himself removes himself from the pain of being human, Dr. Samuel Johnson. Daddy, Daddy, please don't kill me.
Oh, I'm actually in control now. Or at least partially in control. Yep. Here we go. Okay, so... I, um... I woke up inside... Like, my... My bed is a cage. I was imprisoned in my bed. Ugh. And someone... Let me out. The way... The thing that opened the gate, the way it walked, did you hear it? It almost sounded like it was using a walking stick or something. It, it wasn't walking like normal. It's like a click and clack. And then it just walked away. Okay, well, I think, um, I think the brightness might be a little bit too high, so I'm going to check the settings and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I've checked all of my settings, done a couple things. Uh, I disabled the crosshair, since I don't believe I need it. And it improves the immersion a little bit, just to not have it, you know, a, a dot constantly in the center of the screen. Changed my mouse sensitivity, I turned down the gamma, because it was a little bit too high. And I think we're good to go. It's running at a buttery smooth 60 FPS, everything looks good. I actually left mouse smoothing on, which is not something I typically do. Since it makes the aiming less precise, however, I don't think this game requires precise aiming, since you don't shoot or anything like that. So I'm just going to leave it on, because it makes the movement a little bit smoother, which is... I don't know, it's just kind of like more cinematic to have your view kind of smooth. And I'm sure it's a lot more pleasant for you, the viewer, as well. Okay. So just in case you're not familiar with my play type, I like to play very immersively and get into everything that's happening and take my time. Smell the roses. That sort of thing. Except in a horror game, I guess smelling the roses, the equivalent of that will be looking at the stinking dead bodies or something. But yeah, let's take a look at let's take a look around. So I woke up in this. Hold on, left mouse button move. Yep, so it's just like amnesia. Right mouse to throw the door open or shut. Let's let's slam this thing. So like that? That's weird, the slam... Hmm. Slam doesn't really work for some reason on this door, but whatever. Why was I imprisoned in bed? Okay, I'm already in love with the sound design, just listen to that. Listen to that. <laughs> Sounds like you can hear wind battering against the window. And you know what, there's something else. There's not just wind. Listen, there's... It's like there's a machine noise coming through, like, emanating from everywhere. Like there's a great, big machine somewhere down below. A machine for pigs? Maybe? I can hear it. It's not wind. It sounds like distant machinery working. Hmm. Wow, that looks like blood. It could be blood or it's... Well, this one's probably wine. That might be wine or it might also be blood. Hmm. I have no idea what's happening in that picture. I mean, painting. Yeah, that is most definitely not a picture. <laughs> the dresser's locked. Like, it's just straight up locked. It's bolted shut. Why? Who would do that? Don't know what's happening in that painting, either. Someone playing a violin, people sitting about, uh, a dog... Hell if I know. Yeah, these... these wardrobes are all locked. Ooh. What is this? Oh, that's... that's an interesting change. 
It, this one's not red. If I remember right, in the original Amnesia, I think it wasn't everything red? Or was it just the stuff from your main character? I, I can't remember. Anyway. June 24th, 1899. In my dreams, I see a man dressed in jaguar skins and feathered like a blooded saint. What came from the heart lubricated us. It crushed evil under its tread and liberated us all. The... Uh, Foted? I don't know what that word is. The foated heat of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead. My temple pounds. The blood boils in my skull. It feels as if there is something alive there. A rat. A damn rat gnawing through my brain. Eating its way out into the world. Even the laudanum, I, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, will not quell its endless hunger. I hear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. What desperate thoughts are these? I hear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. Hmm. Yeah, so I, if I remember the description of the game correctly, you're, you're some person who I think had a lot of money or something like that, industrial, industrial sort of person, I don't know the correct term. And you wake up kind of in a, like, from a fever dream. And that's where I'm at now. It's feels like there's something alive in him, a rat, gnawing through his brain. Hmm. How do you pronounce this? Is it a lot of them? I know it's a painkiller. Or, yeah, some sort of painkiller that's used in the original Amnesia, and I know it's an actual drug, too. Laudanum? La whatever. Close enough. <laughs> as soon as I saw the candle, the first thing I thought is, do I have any tinder boxes? Nope. Okay. Here we go. Note has been added to your journal. Press M, make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I like the fact that the lean is really slow. It's like, ah, uh, anything there? This is a very dark game, literally speaking. It's almost as if these lights are... It's almost as if the light from the lights has been muted. Like there's some sort of a darkness that's blanketing this entire building. Oh. Thunder. There's a storm. Okay, let's check the journal. Found documents, my journal. Or is this the one I just read, right? Yeah. My journal. A fever dream. I wake alone to a house in silence. That missing sound of children playing is like a dark and fecund sepulcher, beckoning me to begin a descent to the loam where surely only bodies may be found. No matter. My children call and I shall answer. I will find them. My children call to me. I need to find them. Yeah. I I'm sure that's going to go to plan, right? I'm going to find them, and we're going to just leave this place, and everything's going to be fine. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Honestly, I'm scared to move. Just the ambience of this place is... It's building so much tension. The wind, the thunder, the creaks... Is that? Oh no, never mind. I thought I saw a blood stain. It wasn't, it was just a chair. It's weird, no reflection. 
can see I can see something being reflected. But it doesn't seem to be the room or me. <laughs> it's one of those old style toilets. It's like a essentially it's like a mini water tower there. Don't know what's happening in that picture, uh, picture, that painting either. Hmm. Another locked dresser. Whoa. It's a memory. Of my children playing in the bath. Another mirror where you can't see yourself. For some reason, that's particularly creepy. Upstairs. No. Not yet. Not unless I have to. Another locked door. Another locked door. What? It's a pig mask. Press right mouse to button to throw it. Hold down R and move the mouse to rotate the object. All right, so far it's the same as amnesia. Why is there a? I held your hand and watched the blood pool between your legs. You lived long enough to see Edwin, but not Enoch. I will take care of them, my love. I promise you this. Hmm. It looks like... I mean, it's a mask. It looks like it's painted. I mean, well, obviously it's painted. Almost like some sort of a ritual... artifact? Some sort of a ritual... item? It looks ritualistic, just the colors. It's very vibrant. Hmm. Another spilled wine. There's another one. Wait a minute, is that one designed differently? I can't tell. Hmm. Ooh, there's a note. And some glasses. I can't read it, though. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that on. Yeah. This bed has a cage, too. Is this one of my children's rooms? Hmm. Let me test out the slam thing. You should right-click and it should shut it. Like... Well, I wouldn't exactly call that a slam. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like there's a max speed to the how fast you can close the door. And it's about... that fast. Okay. Alright, that's back to my room. I guess upstairs it is. Unless I want to break my legs jumping over the railing. Uh, how about no? It really does feel as if the lights have been muted. I mean, with this many candles. Look at all those candles and all of these lights. In reality, this would be much brighter. It's seriously as if there's a darkness suppressing the lights. Papa, Papa, this way. Whoa.
playing with a ball. What lovely children. It's it's so adorable that you're playing with a ball. I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, the sound design in this game is so good. Just listen to this ball. That is really, really good. Just the, the creek. Every little creek. It's like this place is alive. You can hear there's like a machine running down below deep within the heart of this place. The wind. The creek. It's not like someone just shut a door. Or <laughs> something just shut a door. Hmm. Alright, hold on just a second. Before I continue, I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Let's go. Whoa. Something's inviting me to go in there. But is it trying to be helpful or is it trying to lure me into a trap? Let's close the door. The hell was that? And what is this? That's a pile of clothes. I don't know what I just heard. I heard something cry out, though. Hmm. Well, this looks like a very cheap bed. Definitely not a royal bed chamber. Maybe it's servant's quarters or something? Um, um, uh, what, uh, um, am I going crazy? D there, there was a door here, on the left, here. What the fuck? There, there was a door here. Wasn't there? Wasn't there a door here? It was like right here, right? That's what I stopped at. I, I pointed at it and I saw that I could open it. But then that door opened. Right? What the hell? Oh god. Did I hallucinate the door? What does it say? Oh, attics. Attics and nurseries. But they slept in the attic when there were babes in arms. And perhaps they've hidden there now? I remember I insisted upon it. Midway between my bedroom and my office. But they slept in the attic. Wasn't there a note mentioning the attic? Or was it? Not there. It was found documents. Um. Where is it? Where is it? I hear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. I really don't want to go up there. I'm gonna open this door first. Never mind, it's locked. There's a bad man coming. 
I'm the bad man. I'm the bad man? There's another pig mask. It's so dark. Great, a music box. I'm comforted. What? What's that on the bed? Is that a teddy bear? Or something else? <gasps> Whoa, children! They just ran by. And here's a, a light. Lantern, it can be turned on by pressing F. Um, be careful not to attract unwanted attention with the beam. Okay. So that's quite a change, actually. That's quite a change um, from the original Amnesia. The original Amnesia was just a general lantern that kind of illuminate everything around you in a relatively short radius in like a circle and this one's actually a directed beam interesting um so yeah does it have a limited do i have an inventory at all i don't think i have an inventory okay i don't think it's limited A teddy bear. The fact that you don't get to see its face when you first see it is lying down, laying down, whatever the correct word is, is very disturbing. Why do I think I'm going to turn it around and it's going to be something horrible? Turn around. Oh, come on. This thing's wigging out. Flip over. Ugh. There we go. Okay. It's just a normal teddy bear. Nothing particularly creepy. Edwin and... Uh, how do you pronounce that? Enix? Edwin and Enix's Diary, October 11th, 1899. Daddy says there won't be a Christmas this year. He's much too busy. Nanny says we must not disturb him. He is ever so busy. He's gone for work before she wakes us, wakes us, and often we are asleep before he returns. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We give it to Nanny, who said it was a filthy thing, and hit it with a rolling pin. Later, we crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. There was a pig in the garden. We heard it snuffling about. Then Daddy came and said we had to come inside straight away. He was furious, but we think he'd been crying again. He was furious, but we think he'd been crying again. What was I crying about? And there's a pig in the garden. Hmm. Wait a minute. The, the wing. The bird with a broken wing. Hold on. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to Nanny who said it was a filthy thing and hit it with a rolling pin. Why does that remind me of something? There was a free DLC for Amnesia the Dark Descent. I can't remember what it's called. Is it, was it called, like, Christine or something? There was a free DLC, and that reminds me of it. I remember there being something about a bird. 
I'm not sure, but this might, maybe? Maybe it's part of that story? I don't know. It could be. I'd have to go back and check out the story for that, that little DLC. To see if it matches up with anything that's happening here. Ugh. It's a pile of dead rats. It looks like they've been chewed on. Hold left mouse while moving with W, blah, blah, blah. Uh, right to push or pull heavy objects, such as storage boxes. Right mouse for a strong push in the direction you face. Let's pull this thing straight out. There we go. I'm kind of worried these floorboards underneath me are going to break. They look... Well, they don't look like they're in too good of a condition. Hold on, what's over here first? Goody! Because that's just what I need right now. Play a game! Wait a minute, what is that image? What does that say? Bird... Bird something. Hmm. Looks like this place is kind of under construction. It's like a sander. Oh. It's like a sander. Looks like the ground is covered in nails and stuff. Yeah. This place is under construction. They stopped rocking. I swear the music's getting louder. Okay, I'm gonna leave this room now. It's another very luxurious room. 
Whoa. Footsteps. Above me. <laughs> Look. Pigs. Cute, cute little pigs. Oh, and it's a sheep, I think, or a goat, I'm not sure. A little stash of wine there. Ooh. February 14th, 1899. Yes, he said, I know these ruins. He was a shabby fellow, all rotten with some melodorous disease. I caught him looking at me strangely, as if what he really wanted to know was how I knew of them. Biting back the temptation to box his ears for his impudence. Impudence? Oh god, there's a lot of strange words here that I'm just not used to saying, so sorry if I mispronounce a bunch of stuff. I simply smiled and told him that my family's library contained intriguing travel books. The illiterate Oaf did not understand that, of course. He agreed to lead us anyway. I've told the children, truly, this will be an extraordinary adventure. If those old stones hold the financial benefits I predict, it will be merely the first of many. If these old stones hold the financial benefits I predict... Okay, so he's on an expedition. Yeah, he agreed to lead us anyway. So someone's leading him, someone's guiding him to some old stones. So he's investigating some, like, abandoned place. And hoping to get monetary benefit out of it. Once again, very much locked. It's almost like this place has been condemned or something. Like, like this whole place is a crime scene that's been locked off. Or at least, most things are locked off. Well, at least we have some pleasant piano music. Oh god. It's like chaos and destruction. Fires burning. I don't even know what this other stuff is. I can't even tell if that's people or just like rubble. I must have been extreme. well, I, I guess I am, extremely rich. I mean, look at this, I mean, just the house. Look at all of this art, these rooms. I'm downright wealthy. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Uh, I'm, it's probably not going to be cute for very long, but for now it's kind of cute. Okay, that one's not cute. A gramophone? You don't mind if I record this, do you? I find it most useful. Ah, you have one of those wonderful demand pills. Uh, no, of course not, my dear fellow. It's my own design, Professor, along with everything you see. Most useful. You understand, of course, where the Ministry sent me. 
that they have concerns. The ministry sent me they have concerns. Oh, is this the place he visited? The stones? Looks like a map to some exotic place. I have no idea what that says. Hmm. But yeah, what's circled seems to be this. Hmm. I'm guessing maybe these actually came from it. Artifacts from it. Stone tablets. Stone tablet. Book. With some strange symbols in it. Is that even in English? I can't. Ah, it's too small to see. Maybe I disturbed something that shouldn't have been disturbed. It sounds like the great machine just stopped. Like it just shut down violently. What the hell is happening in these pictures? Kissing a goose or something? Kinky. I don't know if that's depicting a war scene or what. It's just a tangle of limbs. That looks like a mad woman who's just stabbed somebody. She has a bloody knife in her hand. And what is that? Is that a child? I th oh, God. There's, there's like a baby's foot in the pot. Ugh. That's strange. My crosshair is showing up when I aim over the piano. Even though I disabled it. It's bizarre. <laughs> and there's a gun, which I'm sure I don't get to use. Let me just check these bookshelves for anything. Oh, looks like everyone was playing some poker or some sort of card game over drinks. This place certainly doesn't want for alcohol, that's for sure. More guns. Whoa. Uh, I guess I'll answer it. Hello. Precious 
eagle cactus fruit. Help us. What? Precious eagle cactus fruit. Uh, okay. I don't understand. Precious eagle cactus fruit. Help us. The time isn't even progressing. It's moving back and forth and back and forth. He just made a new note. The Weeping Rooms. Where once we sat to weep Lily's passing under weapons that cannot slay the angels to retrieve her from heaven. Look beyond the paintings, Oswald, where once you watched her bathe. The children must have discovered those secret places and taken refuge there. Wait. Look beyond the paintings where once you watched her bathe. So, a painting in a bathroom? Secret passage behind the painting in a bathroom? Wait a minute, this looks like a secret passage. What is this? Look at that. That is so a secret passage. But how do I open it? There's got to be a secret switch. Um, something you can grab. Like a light, a book. Maybe the switch isn't actually in here. Maybe the switch is in the bathroom? Yeah, no switch down here. Ooh. November 7th, 1898. The bank is refusing credit, the ignorant swine. I sit alone at night and weep, once the children and servants are safely asleep when they cannot hear me. My darling, how I need you now. They say I have squandered my fortune, that my investment in these latest machines have ruined the family name. What? That I was to remain a local butcher? What are these two arms compared to the multitude that can be applied, without pay, without tire, by adapting the mechanisms we find in the looms and the mills? But. If the bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle. My rifle. Whoa. Hold on, let me get the timeline of this straight. So that's in 1898. Aren't all the others from later? Or was it journal? No, found. Yeah, this is from earlier than these. Yes, he said, I know these ruins. And this was after he was worried that he wouldn't have enough money. So I'm getting the picture that he was desperate for money and looking for treasure or whatnot. Looking for something he could sell. Something to make back his fortune that he lost. Hmm. Wait, hold down left mouse and move the mouse in the direction you want to move the lever. Wait, this is the lever? Is it going to open it? Oh!
Excellent. <laughs> They're even kind of making a joke at you. They're basically saying we know you want to pick up the weapon, but you can't have it. Like, they know you're going to go straight for the weapons and try to interact with them. And they actually made it interactable. But not to pick up and not to shoot. But as a lever. Oh. Wait, this... This place has secret one-way mirrors or paintings? Am I looking from behind a painting? Okay, that's creepy. Why does this even exist? Yeah, I'm gonna leave that open. This is the sort of thing you'd want in your house if you're, like, a serial killer. Okay, that noise is getting really loud. Clockwork and the soul. Replacement is dissatisfactory. So like a pump. Better the intestinal canal like a tapeworm. Already hosting intrusion and the breed. Brass better than copper, more resistant. Filaments sewn to bone hold. What? Marrow pipe removal with needle potential. Composite replacement straightforward will respond to electro... Magnetic inducement to increase yield rate. Serum provides accelerated resetting, resulting in naturalized movement within two to three days. Subjects still require severing of frontal lobes to reduce emotional distress upon reactivation. Damn. Damn it. Damn this wretched soul. If only it were clockwork. What the hell? I'm trying to even understand this. Filaments sewn to bone hold. Removing marrow. Replacing with a composite. Naturalized movement. Severing of frontal lobes to reduce emotional distress upon reactivation. It sounds like they're talking about... Like... Turning a... Thing, a person, a pig, something, something living. Changing it to be composite and, and fake, and I, I don't know, a machine? And then reactivating it? This dawning epoch. This age of reason, an empire grown fat, ripe for the bleeding. Alright, that looks like a drawing of a dead person. Are they... Is that a bunch of people, like... Whipping a person on a ground on the ground? What the fuck? Oh my god. Eyeless people. Those are actual pictures. Who are they? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Are these? Those are pictures from this window. People using the sink or just standing in front of the sink. This is pictures secretly taken of people in front of the sink. 
looking into the mirror. Look at him, like, like that's a, like a woman washing herself or, I don't know, putting on makeup or whatever the hell she's doing. Look, someone else just staring into the mirror, somebody like messing with her earrings or something. That's someone with a very creepy stare, just staring straight at himself. And there's a beer bottle like someone's just been here, watching. Just secretly taking pictures of people. And drawing extremely creepy things. And it's not just the sink that they have a lookout into. It's the tub. As you can see. What the fuck? Someone's been drinking and drinking a lot and hanging out in here and taking pictures, secretly taking pictures of, I guess, guests or something as they take a bath and as they're in front of the mirror? Who did this? Is this me? Who else lives here? I know there's me and my children. If it's not me, then who is it? Wait a minute, is this where I... This is where I came from, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's go the other way. I think I need to open this. Yep, there we go. I really don't like long hallways in horror games. You know what I imagine when I hear that? I imagine this house is made up of a bunch of separate parts, all shifting, like parts of some great machine constantly reconfiguring itself. In Lily's honor, a banquet. We will fasten that great month... Uh, wait, what? We will fasten that great mouth down over the chimney and inhale the world and suck the fairies and the nonsense clean from your dirty heart. Uh, what? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> 